Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. And this episode we have titled uh, Common No More. Common No More. So, uh, yeah, today's video, we really want to stress that uh, because of the gospel, uh, because of Jesus who lived, died, rose, ascended, and will come back again on the last day, uh, no one is common. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. And we're going to look at Peter to really make this point, mm -hmm. right? Peter, who liked to, uh, in Jesus' earthly ministry, he liked to uh, uh, fire before he aimed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He was someone who was always what? Oh, always, always learning. Exactly. Always learning. That's going to be the theme, right? Always uh -huh. learning. Yep. We're always learning. If mm -hmm. Peter's always learning. How much more? Us. <laughs> I'm definitely always learning. Uh -huh. The more I learn, the dumber I feel. <laughs> Ditto. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, uh, we have in Acts chapter 10, really in a, a beautiful example, like Pastor was saying, of Peter and the early church actually learning, because um, they didn't have it all together at the beginning. I mean, at, up to this point, after Jesus' ascension and sending the disciples to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, um, the disciples, the apostles, they're going to really... The Jews, they're not really yeah. going to the Gentiles, to all nations. Not yet, at least. Yeah. I mean, that's messy. P Peter, yeah. Peter and the early church are wrestling with where do the Gentiles fit in with God's salvation plan. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what's fascinating is in Acts chapter 10, uh, Peter is in Joppa. That's where mm -hmm. he's he's uh, <laughs> hanging out in, in Joppa. Joppa. And Joppa comes up in the Old Testament uh -huh. uh, with a certain prophet, a flighty prophet yeah. named Jonah Jonah whose name means dove that's why that's why I say he was kind of flighty he was kind of flighty yep he instead was... of going to Nineveh he flies down to to Joppa to take a boat to Tarshish and um I think there's a few events that happen like with a big fish and yeah like, the point is like the book of Jonah is about God's plan of salvation is for every single human being mm -hmm. simple as that yep but also as hard as that it's hard for us to always uh remember that Everyone is included mm -hmm. in God's salvation plan. Mm -hmm. And that Peter, person? If, really? yeah, what, 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 what? Say it again. It's like really that person. Yeah, that exactly that person. Them? Uh -huh. No, no, no. God can't love them. Mm -hmm. uh, but He does. And Peter has a vision to open his eyes to the reality that the gospel is for everyone. Right. And it's kind of interesting. It happens. Uh, we find out that he's in Joppa, that he's um, at um, a house and he's going up to pray. And it's he's going up onto the roof to pray during the sixth hour. Oh, and sixth hour. With, there's uh, something I mean, important that happens. What at the sixth occurred hour. at the sixth hour <laughs> during the ministry, the life of Jesus? <laughs> Jesus hanging from the cross. Yeah, when he draws all men to himself, mm -hmm. as the Gospel of John tells us, right? Right. That, that all men, mm -hmm. all men, meaning like every single human being is included in the death of Jesus. The whole world. The whole world. Yeah. 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 So at this sixth hour, this very important sixth hour, uh, Peter is praying and he has a vision. It's pretty. It's pretty messed up. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. What happens, uh, Deaconess? <laughs> um. There's this sheet that comes down, and in it are all of these different animals. All of these different animals that are that are on the do not eat list. Oh, for BLTs. Juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Lots of bacon. Yep. Lots of bacon. Mm -hmm. Tons of bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, all sorts of animals that for uh, Peter, since he was a little boy, were on the don't touch, don't touch, don't eat, don't think about them. Was no it on the bacon. menu? No bacon for you. These are these are items uh, that were never on the menu for 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 Jews because exactly. of the the law, the OT law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and what does the Lord say? Kill and eat. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, uh, no, I haven't done this. I I've never had anything unclean. And then our Lord says something beautiful. He says, what God has made clean, do not call common. Mm -hmm. And this happens three times because <laughs> it, it takes a while for any kind of message to sink in for Peter. And, and for me. <laughs> I'll just speak for myself. Uh -huh. I'll speak for myself. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. It takes a while for the point to get across. But still, Peter's really 
perplexed. He's going, what does this mean? And as this vision's going on, mm -hmm. what's fascinating is a group of Gentiles, they have been sent by an angel to Joppa mm -hmm. to get Peter. And uh, this, uh, this Gentile mm -hmm. uh, who had this chit chat with an angel, his name's Cornelius, mm -hmm. and he's a centurion. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had this, uh, you know, chit chat with uh, an angel and was told to go fetch Peter. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then Peter then is told by the Lord that, hey, hey, Cornelius is coming for you. So what's fascinating is, you know, Peter is not really going after the Gentiles, only the Jews. But here God, I guess his humor, right? Yes. Sends Gentiles to Peter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I find that pretty funny. Yep. Yeah. So then without hesitation, Peter goes. So God's accomplishing his He purposes. goes. You, oh, you mean they 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 find him? Yep. They, oh, find, oh, they find Peter. Yep. They find Peter and they take him uh to Cornelius's home and that's where they basically have story time. Find out about Cornelius having it's a church. meeting the Let's angel. Let's just call it church. Yeah. It's, it's exactly. church. He proclaims the gospel. Yes. Oh, and then the people are filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's kind of like a Gentile Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Holy Spirit is actually poured out on the Gentiles. And then they're like, can we get baptized? <laughs> and what does Peter say? No baptism for you. Oh, of course no. not. What is there to prevent these people from being baptized? No, he dunks them. <laughs> yep, he does. They go for a swim with Jesus. Yeah. They get the open heaven, the spirit dove, mm -hmm. and the voice from the Father saying, you are yeah. my beloved child. In whom I'm well pleased. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And in the midst of this, basically the light bulb goes off for Peter and he goes, wait a minute. This is what that really weird vision was all about. I mean, he says to Cornelius and his family, you yourselves know how unlawful it is for a Jew to associate with or to visit anyone of another nation, uh, including Cornelius. But God has shown me that I should not call any person common or unclean. Um, so, I mean, it's all the dots getting connected for Peter and for the for the early church as, as they had it all. Um, at first, they were thinking, oh, just more of the Jews and who knows how the Gentiles fit in. God really connected the dots for them, bringing Cornelius and Peter together. Um, to show opening Peter's eyes that no one is um, common. Yeah, yeah, no one's excluded. Yep. It is no one's common. They're all precious mm -hmm. in the eyes of God. Yeah, yep. Jesus is regardless of profession. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a centurion. That's not that wasn't really a uh, something that was admired by the Jews. Mm -hmm. um, centurions, you know, put Jesus to death. By the way, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, nationality, yep. ethnicity, language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh you know uh the places where people shop right <laughs> yeah uh all of that really takes a back seat to the fact that this person is created in the image and likeness of god mm -hmm. and died for right the sixth right. hour i can't yes. stress that we can't stress that enough exactly the sixth hour is when peter has this vision mm -hmm. that hour is totally connected with the the cross it is and jesus died for everyone everyone mm -hmm. no one's common to uh to our lord yeah. And no one's common to us. Right. We get to look at everyone as extraordinary because they're created and redeemed yeah. by by our Lord. And we get to share that message. So we have a message that we know <laughs> is for them. Right. For us. Mm -hmm. For no, you. For everyone. No qualifiers. No preconditions. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yep. No strings attached. Yep. Mm. Yep. So enjoy looking at everyone as not as extraordinary as special and uh you get we all get that beautiful opportunity like you were saying pastor of telling everyone how special and loved they are yeah uh thank the lord and sing his praise tell everyone what he has done mm -hmm. i think that's in the liturgy somewhere somewhere <laughs> <laughs> tell everyone what he has done everyone so enjoy <laughs> telling everyone what he has done knowing that the message is for everyone. everyone. It's for them. It's for mm -hmm. you, for me, for all. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. No one is common. Yep. Common all precious, no more. treasured, common no more. Common no more. <laughs> well, by his wounds. We are healed. Yep. Until next time. Cheers. Bye.